So people need strokes and often you're given poor strokes and see what kids learn early on is if you don't get good strokes, some kind of attention, you'll go for bad ones. Tom Harris said it's better to have bad breath than no breath at all. Uh, okay? So, so strokes are to the psyche what food is to the body. If you can't get any good ones, you go for bad ones. So a kid can't get any attention around the family, so he put, starts a fire in the wastebasket. Boy, that gets their attention. <laughs> Little Farquhar comes home with four D's and an F. That gets their attention. He gets a private audience with Daddy. Daddy has spent no time with this kid at all until he gets four D's and an F. Boy, does he learn something real good. But the way to get attention in this world is to screw up. And then the family continues to reinforce it. They pay all the attention. They accentuate the negative. <gasps> Mother and Dad are laying there at 2 in the morning. I wonder how he's doing. And he gets all the attention. The other good kids, the kids that are achieving, are going, Hey, what about me, man? Oh, good. You did good. Well, we're not worried about you. What about stimulation? See, uh, certain kinds of emotional teasing... Everything, oh, that's nothing. It is something really serious to tease children. It can cause severe consequences. Teasing them in public, any kind of public teasing can cause severe consequences. And I don't care. You know, people say, well, it isn't that to me. I don't care whether it is to you or not. It is to other people. And the issue is that you're hurting somebody else with that. And you're getting some kind of mental joy out of that. Because you think it's funny. You think it's cute. Maybe all your colleagues do. But the person that's having it happen to them doesn't. And there's severe pain that comes out of that. And you see, we, we, we just got to understand that we have to take If you love somebody, you accept them just the way they are. See, if I love you, I don't say, well, you shouldn't be so sensitive. That's emotional abuse. The second I say, you shouldn't feel what you feel, you shouldn't be scared. There's nothing to be scared of. That's emotional abuse. Little Farquhar comes in. He's been middle of the night. He wakes up with a nightmare. He goes and he says, I'm scared, mother. She says, you nothing to be scared of. Goes back to his little bed, scratching his head and going, boy, I'm weird. Could have sworn I was scared. <laughs> or he's going to the dentist and his daddy says, are you a real man? Got little cowboy boots on. Real men aren't scared. He's terrified. So am I still. Uh, going to the dentist. Uh, see, real men are not scared, so now you've split your kid. Now he's scared because he's scared. He thinks, boy, I'm really weird. I'm scared and you're not supposed to be scared. I am really weird. That's shaming. That's shaming. Now, again, this is not a blame. A lot of fathers who do that or moms, they don't understand. I mean, it's not till we get them in the office that, that we begin to see the impact. That love is taking people just like they are and accepting them and loving them just like they are. That's exactly the way in all the traditions God has accepted us, just like we are. It doesn't say, you got to get rid of your anger, you got to get rid of this, you got to live up, you ought to, you should, you must. Those are, those are man's interpretations of it.